Hi, my name is Jim Oswald from Sierra Instruments and I'm going to show you a little bit about the Model 810 controller and in this segment I'm going to just talk about unpacking it and what you'll find when you get inside and the quick installation guide that will help you to set it up. Alright, when you unpack your controller out of its box and set it on the table you'll notice a couple of things. Uh, the front of course has labels telling you what this is. It has a flow direction arrow. You want to always hook your your gas pressure into this side and let it come out this side or the vacuum in this side and let it draw through anyway the air or the gas going with the arrow. On the back of this controller is a unique label for your particular device giving the model code and uh, some other information the serial number, the order number, manufacture date here and then you have the range that means is as high as the controller can control the flow to based on what you've told us and how we've calibrated it and then this one happens to be 0 to 25 SLPM or standard liters per minute there are many different kinds of units though that's a very common one you might also see SCCM standard cubic centimeters a minute and then it tells you over here some information, the standard temperature and pressure, the set point signal that this is configured to receive in order to give you the gas flow that you want, uh, the output signal, the voltage needed to run this device, 24 volts in this case, the maximum pressure it can handle, 150 pounds per square inch, uh, the compression fittings. This says a quarter inch compression fittings which is what is on the inlet and outlet of this controller. It has the pressure uh, that you want in. This is very important. Inlet pressure is how we've calibrated it for this pressure. You don't need to be exactly there but somewhere close to in the ballpark of that number in order for this to work optimally. And it also gives an outlet pressure which is the pressure you expected when you ordered it the outlet to build up during normal flow, a little bit of back pressure type thing. So we knew what your conditions were and we calibrated it that way. We have uh, the person's name who calibrated it and the date and then the recommended recalibration date. This label serves as a seal also because there are some screws under here that if tampered with uh, that seal will be broken. This one says also not cleaned for oxygen service. Uh, it's a very clean controller as it comes from the factory, but there's a special level of cleaning that goes into some oxygen service. And then it would say cleaned for oxygen service, and you would receive this actually in a plastic bag with nitrogen in it, and it would be high purity. But that's not even real common for even oxygen flow. So uh, that's what that means on your label. Okay and uh, you will receive with your controller a quick installation guide some instructions for your controller that tell you how to plumb the controller, how to attach electricity to it, how to wire it, how to apply the gas pressure, uh, some cautions, and uh, our support number and email address as well as phone number so you can contact us if you have any questions and then also on the back of that quick installation guide that comes in the box is a full description of the wiring pins, the color of our cable and the function of each of the pins and then at the bottom of the back page is something very important which we'll talk about in a minute and it is the configuration of the little switches inside here that tell the controller what kind of a set point signal you're going to give it so we'll talk about that in just a moment. And so thanks for watching today about our Model 810 Mass Flow Controller. If you have any further questions, we do pride ourselves in our technical support. You can contact us through our website, which is sierrainstruments.com, or call us on our tech line at the factory at 800-866-0200, and we'll help you out if we can. Again, thanks for using our equipment.